been watching this fascinating dance at the danger zone on oil for the last three days. Here is a magnificent bounces. One, two, three, and overnight price is still dancing. These are very, very insignificant bullish formations, and sellers are quite tired. So will this fluff finally finish and sellers will show up with vengeance? I mean, this is very unimpressive. This is very boring structure. One of the two things has to happen for this correction to end. Either sellers have to finally blast through these levels and the selling pressure will pick up with magnificent power or the buyers have to show up with mucho power. I'm seeing quite a bit of buying pressure. Buying pressure had rallied up pre-market for 40 ticks already. But is it significant or is it fluff? That's what we will be monitoring for. And that's why it is so, so critical to exercise extreme caution today due to news release. News release at 10.30 EST, which will be the deciding point as we will monitor. If the buyers will show up with vengeance, that would be quite a lovely rally if we don't have enough oil supply. Or this fluff, which is correction after correction after correction, will finally finish. Let's keep our fingers crossed and let's hope that's exactly what will happen on oil today, one hour from now. Because this very, very choppy structure, the only good thing here happens currently is buyers will pick up the steam. That would be ideal case scenario. Absolutely ideal. As sellers so far showing incredible exhaustion. But buyers are not powerful enough. ES. Tada. As everything we discussed in Alpha Wave Traders Club, we're observing currently. Finally, will the sellers blast through the danger zones after giving us bullish corrections? We'd love to see that because let's not forget where the price is currently. This was the dance. This is what we call in the course danger zone dance. Three wave bullish correction, not impressive, not powerful. But we know better not to enter anywhere near this level. Will price finally break through? Yes, still has plenty of space to the downside, but this is a reminder. Two things happen when danger zone is reached. Either an opposite trend correction or opposite trend reversal. Sellers are still domineering on S&P 500 future, but you are seeing the significance of these levels. Buyers had been dancing, but we don't have significant buying pressure. So across the board, both ES and oil at the same levels. And this is very, very critical. Is this bullish corrective fluff over and sellers will finally blast through these levels with vengeance or will finally buyers show up? This is a reminder how critical danger zone levels are, how essential it is to know and to monitor for formations as we love seeing powerful reversals at these levels. And we know when to stay out, which is when corrective dance on. And that's exactly what is on currently on ES and oil. So let's monitor the formation and let's remember that it is the month of August. The most challenging time to trade, the best time to learn and to take long vacations. So let's read pure price and let's see. Is the bullish correction over? Or will the sellers show up with vengeance? Only pure price will tell you that. And that's when knowledge comes into play.